Hey everybody, welcome to Your Beautiful Table. Your Beautiful Table is a website and a YouTube channel all about how to help you make your tables beautiful. And we cover china, silverware, glassware, table linens, uh, home fragrance, flowers, anything that's like tabletop decor and some other decor. And so I hope if you like that kind of content, you'll consider subscribing. Today we're going to talk about Scentworks Pumpkin Patch Candle, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to your beautiful table. I'm really glad that you're here. If you hear little tiptoes around, my dogs are chasing each other. This is Sammy. I'm not sure if you can see him in uh, the camera view, but here he is. He's so cute. So he might be up here to help us do this uh, a candle review. Tonight we're going to talk about Scentworks Pumpkin Patch Candle. So I'm bringing you lots of candle reviews because I have been burning candles this fall. I just haven't had a chance to do some videos and I'm getting ready to move. And so I'm trying to go through my candle collection and do some so I don't have to pay somebody to pack these and move them. So I'm bringing them to you. So Scentworks is a relatively new uh, candle brand brought to you by Harry Slotkin. Um, you know, Harry has had um, Slotkin & Co. affiliations with Bath & Body Works and his wife does Nest Candles. And so they know candles. And so it shows up in a lot of these Scentworks. So Pumpkin Patch was released earlier this fall at Kohl's. I was able to pick it up for about $17. I think they list for around $26.99 or something like that. But right now, I think you can get two for $30 or one for $19.99, something along those lines. This is Buddy, in case you can see him. Um, and they've been chasing each other. So let me bring it up to the camera. So you can see the Scentworks Pumpkin Patch Candle has a lot of decorative pumpkins there on the front, sort of like pumpkin pie-sized pumpkins and some with stripes. So they're a really fun die-cut label. The um, glass vessel is faceted, so it has these flat edges. It's an octagonal shape, um, and which help to just reflect the light uh, inside. They act like facets similar to a diamond and help reflect the light in interesting ways. There is a matching glass top that has a silicone gasket, really hefty glass. You can see how thick it is. Inside, the candle is round, so it uh, melts evenly. It's not got that same you know octagonal shape on the outside. Mm, this candle smells good just with the... Um, lid open and so uh, you can see that I burned the candle about a third of the way down. These candles um, say that they offer I think between up to 40 hours of burn time and I've had a really a good success overall with Scentworks candles offering good long burn time. You can see there's some wax residue and we're going to talk about that on the side of this candle as I share with you um, but no soot or smoke residue there. Overall, I really like the presentation of the Scentworks candles. They come in these beautiful vessels that really look great on your table. They can um, sort of class it up if you want to turn it back. It can be really classy if you have a contemporary decor or if you have a little bit more casual or transitional decor, you can have the, the label facing out. But overall, um, the candles look beautiful when they're out on your table. You can hear the puppies are going to be running around doing the little tap dance thing. Sammy, Come here, come on up, come on, good boy. They've been, uh, they're chasing each other and of course they only do that when I'm getting ready to record. The um, wax inside is a creamy orange color wax and these are three wick candles which really help to create a full wax pool. The first burn on this one was phenomenal. So I lit the wicks, uh, it made a full wax pool relatively quickly um, and wow, this candle is super fragrant even on cold. It You can smell the candle here. It's got a little scent bubble out in the room and it smells like um, like like a pumpkin spice latte actually. And so the fragrance notes are pumpkin, pumpkin latte, whipped vanilla, macaron, sponge sugar. So a sweet um, pumpkin spice latte candle. If you like um, that kind of candle or if you love pumpkin spice latte, you may want to check out this candle. Um, it has got an amazing fragrance and when it is lit, it has a really strong and intense fragrance uh, and throw. So I could smell this throughout my home. I had it burning upstairs. I'm pointing upstairs, but it was upstairs sort of above our heads uh, in a back bedroom and I could smell this like throughout the home, which was really uh, kind of phenomenal. It could be too intense unless you like very intense fragrance. It could be too intense just to be in the same room. So that's just one um, sort of watch out. But gosh, you can have this on an end table or a, a coffee table and you'd be able to enjoy the fragrance um, just having the lid off. Now, um, the light looked great on the first couple of burns and just overall fantastic experience. So for the past two burns though, this candle has struggled. 
and it um, has had sort of a burnt wax smell. So you, I'll bring it back up to the light, but you can see here that the wicks are really short compared to the depth of the wax. And that's a problem because the, the wicks are not able to get enough of the wax melted um, on these subsequent burns. So this is like the third and fourth burn, I believe, on, on this candle. And it just isn't performing the way that it did when it started out. And it's poor, performing less well, more poorly, poorer. I don't know what the right word is, but it's not performing as well as the other Scentworks candles. The other thing I'm noticing about this is sort of a scorched, burnt wax smell when I'm burning this candle. And I don't know if it, what is actually, like what's really going on, like if it's not getting enough wax pool to um, throw off a good amount of smell compared to the, the wick burning, but it's just not pleasant. To the point, last night I was burning it and I was like, I just don't, uh-uh, mm, it's not gonna work. And I had to extinguish the candle, put the lid on, and just, I've caught it quits on this one. So that's pretty disappointing because the other Scentworks candles, uh, I did like a, oh gosh, it was an apple one that was in a beautiful green, uh, that it was like, I called it like dusty apple. I can't remember the, the name of it. There was an apple one way earlier in the fall that I really liked. Um, there was the campfire woods that I really liked. There was another one that I enjoyed. Can't recall it off the top of my head. Oh, fall, scarlet leaves. It was red um, and enjoyed that one. And it, those had great performance. Um, now, so it's disappointing that this one didn't. Now, I could probably light it, let it um, pull out and then pour out some of the wax and that would help to rebalance, but I don't wanna have to do that. I don't think that we should have to baby our candles. I think that the candle should work just with the proportions that come off the shelf and the other ones have too. So it's a little bit disappointing. So. Um, we talked about price is reasonable on this. The look is great. The scent is fantastic if you like a sweet fall pumpkin, you know, that pumpkin spice latte kind of thing. The candle performance itself, no soot, no um, smoke, no wicks, no flame, sort of dudding out. So I really can't say this one would be a repeat buy unless uh, some other folks say that the experience has been better because, um, I'm not in love with the sweet uh, pumpkin smell. I like the spicier pumpkin smell better um, than this one. But if you're a sweet pumpkin person, this is one that you might consider. Um, I don't know. I would go with something maybe a little bit safer if you have a, a choice because this, you know, these wicks have sort of petered out. But that's just been my experience. Maybe I'm getting something odd. Um, you all can decide um, for yourselves. Now, let's talk about some candles that are coming up. I'm... Um, uh, burning sweater weather upstairs in a bathroom and then right here behind me I've got Bath and Body Works autumn that's burning it's a lovely apple fall smell uh, I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't get it started earlier in the year because it would have been great for September early October and that fall harvest apple cider kind of time but I'm enjoying it now hey buddy um, so just you know not so great on this one. Thanks everybody for joining. Uh, hopefully you've been able to uh, enjoy this channel. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We'll see you next time.